Ooh, 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 the NFL, Dan Snyder, Commanders, all you guys are in trouble. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg Sykes and thank you for joining us. I hope you have had a wonderful day so far. Hey, if you're new here, thank you for stumbling upon this channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for supporting this channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. When you do, make sure you hit that notification bell so you will never miss another video release. Let's get into this one, shall we? So yesterday, Attorney General Carl Rancine from Washington, D.C., uh, took out a lawsuit against Dan Snyder, the Washington Commanders, Roger Goodell, and the National Football League. The shield, baby! The lawsuit is a consumer rights lawsuit. It's not a civil lawsuit. Meaning, there is not a criminal indictment as much as this is a consumer protection thing. Uh, so if found guilty, nobody's going to jail or anything like that. It's going to be more of a monetary uh, punishment that is not only for Dan Snyder would face, but possibly the Washington Commanders, possibly Roger Goodell, the NFL, basically anyone who's named a defendant in this case. Now, Rancine, he he's on his way out, so he's not going to be the one leading this charge, but the incumbent... Uh, or the incumbent, the incoming attorney general uh, will take over this lawsuit and will continue on with it. And this lawsuit will also, this, this whole hearing and all this stuff will be carried out in the public's eye. So this is not going to be behind closed doors. Looks like we're going to be able to witness everything that goes on with this. So yeah, it makes for exciting, um, exciting news, right? Now, when uh, Rancine, Racine, when he made this announcement uh, for the press conference a couple of days ago, Snyder's camp released a statement that basically questioned, of course, the AG's effectiveness with uh, fighting crime within D.C. Uh, by talking about the shooting incident that happened with our own Brian Robinson, our, our running back for the Washington Commanders. Very distasteful, very dis distasteful statement uh, from the Snyder camp. So much so that team president Jason Wright released the statement clarifying that, hey, wait a minute, this didn't come from us. This didn't come from the Washington commanders. This came from external counsel of Dan Snyder. So this wasn't us. This was Dan Snyder. We thought it wasn't all that great either, you know. Now, you a lot of you by now have probably already read that statement. I don't need to read it on here, but um, it wasn't quite necessarily an, an apology to to Brian Robinson, but it's probably about as close as you're going to get. Anyway, this this put more more fuel on the fire for the quest to have Dan Snyder sell on the team, obviously. And if you're Roger Goodell at this point, you want to separate yourself so far away from Dan Snyder that it's not even funny. But, I mean, you know, let's face it. Dan Snyder has put so much of a stain on the shield, the NFL shield is what I'm talking about, that, I mean, it's just, it's it's terrible. I mean, how long... How long do you have to keep somebody like this going on? I mean, you question, what dirt does Dan Snyder actually have on Roger Goodell that, you know, Goodell has been okay with brushing a lot of the, these investigations and all this under the rug for Dan Snyder for all this time? You know, all that's going to be brought out in a court of law under oath. And so, maybe at Maybe, just maybe, we will finally, you know, find out the results of the Beth Wilkinson investigations, right? Uh, regardless of if, if the team gets sold, I think, I think we would still like to hear closure, regardless, right? You know, at this point, I would say it would be impossible for Dan Snyder to just 
you know, sell a minority stake and keep, you know, controlling ownership of this team. I mean, there's no, there's no way. At this point, that has, that has to be taken off of the table. There's just too much at this point that you would say that, oh, that's still a possibility. I don't think it can be at this point. Nobody's going to be that dumb. Nobody is going to want to partner with Dan Snyder, not even his best friend, Matthew McConaughey. Hey! (laughs) Not even Tom Cruise wants to do that. I think when it's all said and done, Snyder might never be criminally charged with anything, but he's going to be a broken man. You know, he's been put through the ringer, and probably rightfully so. You know, he'll have his money, but (laughs) what else is he going to have? You know, he'll have his yacht. He'll have no legacy. He'll have no honor. He'll definitely have no sports franchise. And you know what? With us with us fans, honestly, we're okay with that. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.